Hi there, this is Andrea Maury of Drea Renee Knits, and today I wanted to demonstrate how to pick up the underarm stitches for my new sweater. This one's a little different because we are actually, this is a reverse stockinette sweater, so the right side of our fabric is actually the pearls where the wrong side is our knits. But because most people prefer knitting over purling, we actually knit the sweater inside out. So to pick up the sleeves is a little bit different. And so I just wanna show how I do it to keep that underarm looking as cohesive as possible, especially because we also have this slip stitch column that will encase the sleeve on top and bottom. And we wanna have as little disruption there as possible at your underarm. So we are going to begin picking up stitches at the center, which is very easy to identify since we have that column there when you peek in at the right side of the work. But with your wrong side facing, and I should go back and mention, we had all of our sleeve stitches on hold so we could knit the remainder of the body. I've now gone back and placed those stitches onto my needle. I am using these shorties. I like them for sleeve knitting. You could also use double pointed or a longer circular to do magic loop, um, but these shorties are pretty fun. These ones happen to be from Chow Goo, and I really like them. All right, so we are gonna start at the center here and what we wanna do to try and make this as cohesive as possible is we're gonna take our knitting needle and we are going to insert it into our stitch here as if to purl, because we are going to purl. So we have to purl this first stitch to keep it um, as a knit on the right side. So I will demonstrate this continental, but then I will show English style, holding my yarn in my right hand. So for continental, you're just going to purl it right in there. So now you can see we are continuing the knits on. And for English style, what I like to do, again, you're inserting it let me bring this up really nice and close so you can see. So, so what I basically do is that is the end of my column there where I cast on my underarm stitches for the body. And I'm just inserting my knitting needle from the top of it like that. And for English style, I just kind of create a little loop, place it over the top, and purl it right in and there we go so from here i'm going to continue english style and then i will switch back to continental so you can see picking up stitches both ways so from here i need to pick up seven more stitches and i like to space those out along the cast on edge of the underarm but i also like to put one to two in this gap here and that helps avoid any underarm holes but for this particular sweater, we want to keep this really nice reverse stockinette fabric going through our underarm. So to pick up stitches, you can see typically when we pick up stitches from an underarm, we might use both legs of that top stitch where they were cast on to pick up stitches. But for this pattern, because we're that's gonna be our right side, it would create too much bulk there. It would look more like an obvious seam at the underarm. So we're actually only gonna use the top leg of that stitch. So just this single strand to pick up and knit our new stitches. So we only are purling that first stitch because that is the one that we want to have look like a knit stitch for our slip stitch column. And now we're going to return our working yarn to the back so that we can knit. And so I'm just going to go into this first strand that's laying right on top here and knit. And you'll notice I left a generous tail. I always leave a generous tail when picking up stitches for underarms. So if I do notice any little holes that I want to tighten up, I've got a nice tail in there that's already attached to my work that I can use. So I am gonna pick up about seven along here and then one in the gap. So I have two. So let's see, here is 
three, four, and I'm gonna do five. And I'm gonna switch over to continental. And we're gonna do just that top bar, six, seven, and now I'm gonna do one in this gap here because you can see if I didn't, there would be a hole. So what I like to do is I like to use my knitting needle to kind of try pulling up on different areas in the gap to see where will give me the most strength to avoid a hole. So if I only did the top of a stitch here, it would, let me stretch it up so you can see. You can see how that would kind of look like a hole. So I want a little more oomph. I'm actually gonna go below, and now you can see it's a lot tighter. And I'm going to knit. And now I can go ahead and just knit across my sleeve stitches. So I have the first part of my underarm cast on. And now we need to work across our sleeve stitches so we can get back to the other side and cast on the remaining eight stitches of our underarm. So I'm just gonna knit across these quickly So I can demonstrate once more how we finish this off. You're going to notice that I have a stitch marker coming up and that is because that faux seam, those slip stitches go down the top of the arm as well. So this is our shoulder here. And so I just slip my marker and that is just helps me know, oops, I got to do something special here. And so the one stitch after that is that column. So I just purl and then I continue knitting all the way back down to the underarm. So this would also be helpful if you knit my Comfort Fade Cardi. You could pick up those underarm stitches the same way. Um, and you would just obviously not have that slip stitch in the, in the center, because that doesn't have a seam going down the side. All right, so here we are again. This time I'm gonna start um, English style. I'm gonna go back to English style, I should say. So I am back to finish this off. And I, again, I'm gonna pick up and knit one stitch in the gap here and then I'll pick up the remaining seven leading back. Now, again, you can see if I just tried to pick up a stitch here, it would leave a big hole. So I don't wanna do that. I need somewhere that is gonna help kind of close that up a little more. I think I'm actually gonna do it right here. So there's no hard and fast rule there. It's really just trying things out and seeing what looks best. That actually feels really good to me. It doesn't feel like it's stretching out. There we go, there is that first stitch. And you'll notice that at the gaps, I do use I do use two strands of yarn instead of just going through the top. Again, it's just because I'm trying to avoid that hole, which doesn't occur with those top stitches. So that was one, and now we are going to pick up seven more. Again, only using the top strand of yarn here. And that's gonna keep the underarm looking the most cohesive. So it's two, three, four. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to continental for any of my continental knitters out there. And this is going to be five. seven, and eight. So there we go. I would now place a beginning of round marker right here, and I am ready 
to knit my sleeves. I just want to pull those needles up so you can see how it really keeps it by only using that top strand of yarn. It keeps it really similar to the rest of your reverse stockinette. And then we have our knit stitch right here. I'll show you, I've already finished one sleeve, so I'll show you what that one looks like. So here's the underarm and you can see it is pretty darn cohesive. It doesn't stand out strongly. Obviously, most of the time it's gonna be hidden in your underarm, but it's just nice to keep it as cohesive as possible. You will notice a slight variation here because we are changing the direction of the slip stitches, but I think that looks pretty darn good. So I hope you find this tutorial helpful and I'll see you back here for the next tutorial. Happy knitting.